MadRacers.com. I'm Magic, and today we're taking a closer look at the featured race at Oakland Park on Friday, February 25th. Race 8 on the card. We've got nine older males going a two-turn mile. This is a non-winners of three lifetime allowance race, and with me to talk about it is Aaron Halchman. Aaron, you are riding a three-day win streak with your picks uh, with this feature program at Oakland. So I'm really curious to see where you're going to go. There's a lot of speed. Do you go with speed? Do you go with a closer? Yeah, I mean, all good things come to an end, Magic, and it probably will come to the end in this race. This is one of the tougher races. We were talking about it off air. It's like, man, there's a lot of ways you can go. None of these horses are, are very good, but none of them are really just terrible either. Uh, they all really kind of fit into this race as well. Um, so it, it, there's a lot of ways you could go. I, I would go as deep as you can in your multi-tickets uh, with this race and just try to survive. Uh, that being said, my job is to pick a horse for you. And I went number three, Super Constitution, on top. Um, seven to two morning line. I think he might float up just a bit from that. Um, I don't think he will be seven to two. I think he'll be a little higher. But anyway, uh, last time out, first time off of a layoff for Mac Robertson. Uh, same same race, basically. Went a little bit longer, but the same kind of race and allowance here at Oakland. Got third. Um, wasn't bad, but I really expect second out, out off of that layoff. Uh, the horse is going to improve. I like that Luis Contreras gets aboard. I think he's had a pretty good meet at Oakland. Kind of a, you know, the, one of the more quiet jockeys. You're not going to see him get a lot of headlines. You know, he's not the number one jockey or anything like that. But he's had a good meet. Uh, so I like that he gets aboard. You mentioned a lot of speed, and I totally agree. There is a ton of speed. I think Super Constitution sits fourth you know, kind of a stalking situation where, where he's not way far back, but he maybe gets first run on the leaders turning for home. So I'm, I'm going to give a shot to number three, Super Constitution. A win in three seconds and four starts at the distance. None of those at Oakland, but Mac Robertson uh, loves to run at Canterbury in the summertime, and that's where a lot of this horse's success came. I would expect he's uh, be able to take that back here. He has one at Oakland before. If you want to pair him up with a horse in the exact, or even if there's a long shot that you think has an outside chance at a win, where are you going? I may be crazy, but what about number five, Dr. Jack? If we get eight to one, that's the big key. This horse always seems to get bet, uh, but he looks like he should be about eight to one, right? The last two races for this horse have not been good. Uh, an allowance at Churchill Downs, it, it wasn't great. Got beat by five and a half. Then they sent him to Turfway Park. He ran on the synthetic. That was just a total disaster. I don't know, though, if you crawl across a line through the through the synthetic race and then through his turf race way back in the day uh, in August, the dirt races aren't just awful. I think he can compete here. Um, I think he is drawn outside of all the other speed. To me, you just say go. You just send him. You send him hard and you see how far he can take him. I don't know. I, I'm still mildly interested in this horse at eight to one. Uh, with the the warning of listen if he gets bet again and it is an Aspuson horse so they do get bet at Oakland if he gets bet lower than say six to one five to one then take take that off the table but I don't know at eight to one I think he is interesting in here anytime you can get Steve Aspuson at eight to one at a place like Oakland Park you try and take it work it into your ticket head over to racingdudes.com we've got free picks for every race every track around the country go to youtube.com slash racing dudes for all of our Kentucky Derby and Kentucky Oaks Trail coverage Hit like if you like the video. Hit subscribe if you really like it. Tell us below in the comments who you think is winning the race. We'll see you at the track. This has been a presentation of RacingDudes.com, your destination for all things horse racing and sports betting. Whether you want free winners, expert insider picks, up-to-the-minute trackside weather reports, or podcasts and videos for bettors of all skill levels, Never make another wager without visiting the Racing Dudes first.